hi this is Zidane tutorials and in this video we are going to learn how to maintain the aspect ratio of a stroke while increasing or decreasing the size of an object in Adobe Illustrator so let me put my case on display here I have this artboard with two uh, objects one is a square with a stroke and the other one is a bath now what do I mean by maintaining a stroke here is that sometimes in Illustrator we design something and let's take an example of this spiral path. So let's say we have designed this in Illustrator in some particular width of stroke. So and let's make it a bit thick. So I have uh, increased its size to 10 points. Okay, so it's still clear it is uh, none of the lines are overlapping each other it's not getting messed up uh, the design is still clear now what do I mean by maintaining the aspect ratio is that if I copy it here just to show you that let's say I designed this in Illustrator and then later I needed to reduce its size for some other design or for some other project and I needed to use the same design again and there I need it in smaller size so what will happen if I reduce it, its size uh, if uh, my illustrator has default settings in it so this is going to happen if I reduce the size you will notice how my design got all messed up because the lines are now overlapping each other and what uh, what is making this happen is that the stroke size here when the size of object was this big the stroke size is 10 point and even here when I reduce the size of my object the stroke size is still 10 point so that is actually the problem and ideally what should have happened was that if I have designed uh, an object and it has a stroke size 10 which is making me happy but it is making me happy in this size so ideally when I increase its size my stroke width should also get increased accordingly and similarly if I decrease its size my stroke width should get decreased accordingly so that is the solution and here we have the problem now I will show you how we can uh, fix this problem in Adobe Illustrator okay so that was the case I will put it here on display as our problem so let's fix it it's really easy once you know it all you need to do is you need to go to edit in the top menu and then you will scroll down to preferences okay and here you will pick general you will click on it and this window will pop up in this window you need to find you you need to be in the general tab and here you will find this option that says scale strokes and effects by default it may be unchecked in most cases so you just need to check this box and then you will press ok so that was it now the problem is fixed and let me show you how again the size of this spiral in this uh, particular size the uh, stroke width is 10 points now I'm going to um, uh, create a copy of it and this time I will decrease the size again like I did last time but did you notice the difference now what has happened how it's different from this one the one where uh, the stroke width was still 10 even though I reduced the object size but here if I pick this one you will notice the stroke is now almost 5 so as I decrease the size of my object the stroke width also got decreased accordingly so that the preview of our design remains the same so that is the solution uh, for maintaining the aspect ratio or preview of a stroke width in Adobe Illustrator even after making any change so this is how you can fix this problem now there is another way of doing that of solving this problem if you want to keep this setting but in few cases or at some occasions you want to do this 
at that moment there is another way of doing that and that's going to be your own decision which solution is more suitable for your needs the other one is converting the uh, stroke into outline or in the, in simple words converting your stroke into an object or a fill uh, and how do we do that we can do that by uh, simply making a crop oh okay let's try this one otherwise it will be just it's just sitting idle here and I can uh, display you the problem with this one as well uh, if I go back to edit preference general let me create the problem again by unchecking the scale stroke and effect and this is uh, let's say this is my design I will create a copy of it you will notice it has 15 point stroke if I decrease the size of it you will notice how it is still keeping the stroke size of 15 even in this small size and it is reducing the fill in between so this is this was the problem and the solution like we discussed is going to edit reference going to general and scale strokes and effect checked okay and this time if I will create a copy of it and I will uh, reduce the size this time it is not doing this thing it is maintaining the preview of the object uh, the way it was designed even in smaller size and it will do the same even uh, if we increase the size of it okay so the concept is clear let's move on to uh, the second solution I was talking about and that was converting your stroke to an outline or an object and to do that what you need to do is you need to select your stroke object and then you will go to object and here you will find path and here you will find outline stroke you will click on it and now you will notice it is no more a stroke it is a shape now and it, it, it is being indicated here as well if you have something which has only stroke this is how it uh, appears in this area the stroke uh, the fill is disabled and the stroke is in black color but if I pick this one it is showing the fill to be in black and stroke is disabled so this is now a shape a object and it is no more stroke so I can easily reduce it in size and everything will get reduced accordingly but the problem with this solution is that it is no more a stroke and now I will not be able to make any change in its width later it is now an object and it is no more a stroke so that's it for this tutorial I hope this video was helpful to you in fixing this problem if you are facing it and uh, that's it. I hope uh, you will subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Have a nice day. Thank you.